Hello, Princess Craft fans. We've had some questions about how to properly use a torque wrench. So we wanted to go over an, a quick demonstration on proper use of a torque wrench and how to set it and how to use it and all that stuff. So let's cover this real quick. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna determine which socket size we need. And that's gonna be whatever fits your lug nuts on your trailer. Most of them are gonna be a 19 millimeter or a 21 millimeter. If you put that into a fraction, that's gonna be a three quarter or a 13 sixteenths. Um, most of them are gonna be that size, so you shouldn't have any issues there. Um, once you get it set up, you'll probably wanna use a short extension so we can get out and clear our fenders, clear our wheels, that way we don't scratch anything while we're tightening. Next thing we're gonna do is we need to know our specified torque value for our trailer. Now your axle manufacturer or your trailer manufacturer should have that information for you somewhere. But what we find is most of our trailers that go out of, out of here at Princess Craft are around 100 foot pounds to 110 foot pounds. So it's very easy to set. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our torque wrench, we're gonna loosen this knob on the bottom by turning it to the left. And we're gonna look at our graduations here and we're working in foot pounds. So most torque wrenches will have a foot pounds and a Newton meters. We wanna work in foot pounds and our torque wrench here goes from zero to 150. I'm sorry, 10 to 150. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our zero and we're gonna turn it up here to the 100. Now all of the lines on this torque wrench actually kind of come across and then drop down a little bit. So your zero is not gonna be straight across from your 100, but just down a little bit from it on the line there. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this up To 100 and you can see there that my I am not exactly across from the 100 because the line does drop down okay once we get there we're going to go ahead and snug this back up and then we're going to take our torque wrench and when we torque our lug nuts we want to kind of go in a crisscross or star style pattern um, and now this is a standard uh, click type torque wrench so when you hit that specified value you're going to get an audible click out of it just like that when you hear that that means you are at that torque value and you do not need to go any tighter. Do all of your lug nuts on one side and then go do all the others and you're good to go. Now when you're done, what you're gonna do is loosen this back up. You wanna turn your handle all the way back down to the bottom, which is gonna be 10 on this torque wrench. Snug that back up and then put your torque wrench back in its case. Now this is a calibrated tool, so you do not want to store it at the, uh, the torque value of 100 or whatever, because it will eventually throw it off. So always put it back to its bottom setting, put it back in the case, and that's it for using a torque wrench. I hope this is helpful. We've had some questions about it. Um, so very easy to do. Thanks very much.